hey beautiful people welcome back again to my youtube channel and if you're new welcome to my youtube channel today we are talking about self-care self-care to me is when i do things or experience things that make me feel so happy that fill my heart with gratitude and so much love when i do things that make me feel at ease at peace things that boost my confidence Take care to me is also when I look at myself in the mirror and clap for myself and say, Naomi, I am so proud of you. You know, when I do something that makes me feel so, so proud. I am going to share with you 10 points that I consider self-care. Let's get started. The first point is getting to know yourself, deepening your connection with yourself and understanding yourself. Sometimes you're so busy trying to fill other people's cup. We are so busy trying to make others happy. We are so busy trying trying to make others comfortable we are so happy trying to you know pleasure everyone we are so busy trying to understand others we're busy just spreading love and giving 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 and forgetting that if we are empty then there's nothing remaining to give you know you just keep draining and draining yourself get to deepen that connection with yourself get to understand yourself get to nourish yourself fill your own cup and you'll see once you have all these things it will be so easy to give to others so first it has to be you because if you don't take care of yourself you can't give from an empty cup you know you can't try to nourish others when you yourself you're not nourished you can't try to understand others if you yourself you don't even know who you are you don't understand yourself you see those words of affirmation we honestly love hearing them from other people telling us all these sweet nice things but try to tell yourself all those good things that you like hearing from other people speaking life and greatness in everything in your life is very very deep try to speak positively how you speak to yourself how you think about yourself is very very important so be very mindful of how you speak to yourself and how you think about yourself the second point is feeling your emotions and expressing your feelings it's really important to truly know and accept how you feel don't say you're okay when you're not okay don't try to push your emotions aside just because you don't want to deal with them sometimes it's always good to deal with those emotions head on so that you can move past that or you can work on your healing process i'm also learning to express my emotions especially when i'm not feeling that well and to also not say i'm okay when i'm truly not okay you know someone really special to me once told me you know naomi you don't always have to say you're okay when you're not okay don't tell me you're okay when you're not okay so i have been learning to not pretend to always be okay because we are human and we are not always okay so it's always very important to to know how to acknowledge and accept how you feel the third point is accepting and asking for help or when you need it without even feeling any guilt okay remember no one is an island we all at one point in our lives need help just don't sit alone and not knowing what to do because just because you don't want to ask for help and i know a lot of people are like that you know you feel what will people think the thing is ask for help in most cases um, from the people that you really uh, trust it could be family members it could be uh, friends you know so don't be scared to ask for help fourth point is a uh, clean and organize your space or your house i personally always feel so good so so happy so great so calm and at peace when my space is clean and organized and smelling good i know this can be very challenging for parents but you have to understand that toys are not that you know you just have to teach your kids that when they finish playing with certain toys then they can return them where they're supposed to be or at the end of the day they just put every toy where it's supposed to be and that way you space i can't guarantee it will always be organized and you'll never see any toy around but you just have to accept that toys will always be part of your life as long as your kids are still young so you just have to know how to deal with that and how to 
yeah go around it and like i said teach the kids to organize their stuff and keep them where they're supposed to be this is not only about toys you know another thing that would be really helpful to parents is teach your kids for example if they come from school where they're supposed to put their bags during cold season where they're supposed to place their jackets when they when they come from school or when they come from outside in general where to place their shoes that they should remove the sun from uh, when they come from the playground you know helping to clear the table when they finish eating maybe taking their own plates and their own glasses and knives and and, and forks or uh, spoons when they finish eating to where they're supposed to be taking the mat where it's supposed to be you know just clearing when they finish eating and i think teaching kids these things when they are when they are young at a younger age they get used to it so you don't even have to tell them to do it they just do it naturally so the fifth point is throwing away things that are broken i don't even know why you're keeping broken glasses chipped mugs and all that in your house you know let go anyway throwing away things that are broken and also giving away things that you don't need remember don't give away things that you yourself wouldn't accept from someone else give things out that are in good condition and let go of anything that isn't benefiting you anymore okay so the sixth point is eating healthy and making sure you get a medical checkups you know for me i always say i'd rather buy expensive and good quality fruits and veggies you know something that i know it's fresh and it's organic than buying cheap meat cheap veggies cheap everything it doesn't make sense buying low quality cheap food and you don't know what it could do to your health in the long run so what's it what's what's best getting good quality or getting low quality and then you don't know what how it will affect your health be mindful of what you consume be mindful of what you consume it's also important for men for ladies for kids to go for regular medical checkup that way you're on the safe side the seven point is moving your body it could be going to the gym it could be going for a walk or just doing any type of exercises at home or any type of sports this will really help you feel rejuvenated afterwards and another thing on that note is doing things or doing activities that could make you feel calm and at peace and this could be maybe finding a place like for example going for a walk in a nature surrounded place or sitting in a nature surrounded place reading a book just hearing the the birds chip and just walking barefoot on the on the grass and just feeling mother nature you know speak to you if you love going to the beach and just listening to the waves do that if you love listening to podcasts do that if you love riding your bicycle go do that if you love playing golf go do that if you love playing football basketball tennis whatever you love doing and whatever brings you calm go do that the eighth and a very important point is taking care of your outer look it's always important to look well put together take care of your hygiene take care of your hair take care of your nails take care of your skin take care of your nails take care of your teeth taking care of yourself in general taking care of your hygiene just boosts your confidence you know when you look well put together when your hygiene is on point you know there's just that feeling that you always have you know as a lady just taking care of my health taking care of my hygiene just taking care of myself in general makes me feel so good makes me feel so soft you know when i dress up oh i love it i enjoy feeling good and looking good and so should you <laughs> the ninth point is uplifting others and learning to see the goodness in others genuinely uplift others you don't know what that could do to someone it's very important that you always encourage others that you always always uplift others also make a habit of genuinely acknowledging when someone does something good and giving compliments you know and you will start seeing once you start giving people genuine compliments and acknowledging when they do something good you will see you will also start receiving the same because what you give is what you receive be kind to people just be careful not to overdo it but remember out there there are right people who will genuinely appreciate your kindness 10th 
And last point is pray, speak to your creator or whoever, whatever you believe in. Journaling is also very important. Make sure you remind yourself every single day what you're proud of. Be happy and grateful for how far you've come. Be proud and applaud yourself for every step you take. And don't forget to stay positive. That's it on today's self-care session and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.